Ой! Ой! What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video guys, I'm going to be doing some work on the Volvo. I think you guys deserve an update on what's going on with the Volvo. But the work I'm going to do is not the type of work that you guys think. But let me show you something. I just went down the road and I picked up the seats. I picked up the Volvo seats. Can you believe months ago I dropped off the seats to the opposer guy and he, he finished it like in like a like two weeks and I'm now picking them up. Like I just could I couldn't find the time. There was time but I just couldn't find it to go and pick up my seats. So I called him not too long ago. I said, yo, are you at the shop? He said, yes, I'm gonna come get the seats finally. Finally, I got the seats for the Volvo. So I'm gonna take them out of the car now, show you guys the work that he did. And if you want your opposed to um, done, you can contact him, you know what I mean? I know a lot of you guys probably know opposed people already, but this is who I use. So I, what, whatever I use, I want to let you guys know. Whenever I buy something online and it works, I want you guys to know. So whatever source I trust, I will put them up, put you guys onto them. So. Let me get these seats out of the car and then I'll show you guys what. I'll pull one of them out of the wrap. You wrap them in plastic, so I'll pull them out of the wrap. The kids screaming. Pull them out of the wrap and let you guys see. Guys, when I went there and I saw the seats, I was like, man, I, I don't want to pick up these in other cars. They seem to be in good hands. <laughs> the way OE was taking good care of the seats. cut them out of the seats guys you even put back the volvo logo in it but the stitching real nice on it i don't know if you guys remember what these seats look like the ugly blue that was on it very ugly interior that was on it so these are pretty nice guys i like it very neat guys but i'm going to store these in the garage and i might take i might get like a sheet and throw over them even though they're wrapped I will still probably get a sheet and just throw over them because we'll talk about the Volvo. Let me put this in the, in the garage. Pause for a minute, guys. Let me share a story with you. My name is a very trustworthy name. So people might use your name for different things and different reasons. So I did a video months ago going to the upholstery shop, you know, getting the seats done and all that stuff. And, you know, people reach out and say, yo, where is this shop? Where is it located? How can I find this place apparently now somebody went to the shop you know use my name you know yo me i saw papa we were bridging we're cool re, 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 all that stuff you know and you know blah blah yada da so my poster guy now you know did some work for that person and that person i know the person is I've been contacting the person from ever since the person he, the poster guy did the work for the guy and so he, he was treating him, you know, like how he treats me, you know, so he would take the work, work on the, the things, then I pay him. So he did the same thing for this person. This person just disappeared and keep promising that he's going to come and pay for months on top of months now and even stop taking calls. So guys, if you're going to go to places to, if you watch the video and you see somewhere and whatever, don't even use my name. Just, you can take my advice and you can use the people that I use, but don't even use my name when you go to these places because people are too shady out there. You understand? And I'm really sorry that that happened. You did the job. All knowing don't get paid. I'm going to buy material, labor and all that stuff. So if you're watching this video, go pay the money money. It's way overdue now. You need to go pay the money. Alright guys, the seats are in their resting place for now. 
But yeah, guys, the Volvo. Man, guys, I have big plans for this car, but it requires a lot of work. First thing, the body work. And the guys who did my Chevelle, um, Prento sprayed it, Richie and somebody else did the body work on it. And those guys are not working at the same garage anymore. You know, they all split up and all over the place. So that's the struggle to really find somebody to, who is gonna dedicate some time to this car. Because honestly, Bobby, Bobby wouldn't be able to take on this job. Bobby has a lot of pressure on him. Right now, you see Bobby even supposed to come and fix just the, the, the rear of the car. I mean, if I brought it to him, he would fix it maybe in a day, but to dedicate time to this car, man, I need somebody who is going to work on this car. It has, you know, a bit of rust on it. The floor is, en the entire floor is rotten out. So the floor need replacing. So yeah guys, my kids interrupted me. So this is gonna require a lot of time and if there is somebody out there who knows that they can take on this job, um, like I said, the floor is rotten out. The roof have some rust. The, the roof is gonna need some work. Let me show you. Like across here, see how the roof stay. Um, even like the glass itself have to come out and fix these little spots and then go around like in the chunk, in the chunk messed up, in the chunk is messed up but the floor is the biggest part. Floor at note. Over there so worse. See the ugly blue here guys that was in there. See the doors and the door panels. The ugly blue. So yeah guys, this is a big project. I mean, it's not my car, but I'm treating it as if, as if it's my car, as a friend's car. And they want, they want it to be proper. You know what I mean? So even with the engine, I don't think, I mean, I haven't started this in a while. I don't even know if it's, it would start again. But I did some, I did a little work on the engine. Need to blow it, but the, I don't want a rat to come back in this, you know. So I need to clean it up again. Yeah, definitely need to come and clean this up again. Blow, it, uh, blow off all of the leaves and all that stuff. I don't want a rat to build up the nest in it again. But yes, guys, in that engine bay, I really want to put, I want to put a Mark X engine in it. Let me know what you guys think. I want to put a Mark X engine, maybe even the 2.5. And just do what Roland did, put a little turbo on it and daily driver, you know what I mean? Like I said, it's not a race car. I want to bring it back, you know, to its former glory, but with a new, new heartbeat. So that's my goal. You know, I can't buy two Jay-Z, not affordable anymore, or one Jay-Z. The price for those gone through the roof. And I'm not going to LS, wouldn't LS swap this. The Mark X engine is our LS here in Jamaica. You know Mark X popular in Jamaica already, so, and Roland already has the formula. So that's what I want to do. Um, it might make sense to buy the engine, take it over to Roland and let them mark it up in the engine bay before you start any body work on the car. That would make sense because the engine bay would need to spray as well and all that. So. That's the goal for that, but there's another issue. And we don't know when we're gonna get that done because like you guys know, we have a lot of projects. We have a lot of projects, but that's why we have the YouTube. And without projects, the YouTube don't make sense. You understand? Even though it's a lot, it don't make sense when the projects don't finish too, right? Yeah, man, so drop a like on this video if you want to see the projects finish. Just hit that like button. But yeah, guys, we have a little infestation under here though. We have some wasness under here guys and we're gonna end off this vlog right here i need to kill them once here guys you think I, I should spray bacon with some fire on them and kill them off or that too risky gas no gas no gas under there so i don't want to catch this car fire in a but i just spray the bacon by itself maybe maybe i'll spray the bacon by itself
Uy. 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 Alright guys, I'm going in. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Remember to like and subscribe.